If you clicked on this video, then a few things are probably running through your mind. Number one, what exactly is the Brave browser? Number two, you heard of the Brave browser, but you never took a closer look at it. Or number three, you are already part of the Mike Investor channel. You're part of the family and you want to know what new information I'm bringing to you today. So if you're one of those three, be sure to stay to the end of the video so that way you can see each detail that I'm providing for you in this video. So before we dive into the juicy stuff, if this is your first time checking out the channel, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button for me. It really helps out the channel and it lets me know that you all appreciate the content that I'm putting out. And be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button as well so that way I can see you all back next video. Now let's jump into it. Right. welcome back to the channel now we are on the brave browser checking out the brave.com website now the first thing you may notice is it looks identical to the Google Chrome browser so if you do like the way the Google Chrome look you will not lose that design at all now essentially what the brave browser is it is a open source private browser that allows consumers to surf freely without having their data exposed or stolen. And the way the Brave browser does that, they have shields that's automatically embedded into the browser that tracks ads, blockers, and cookies, which is incredible. It is innovative in my opinion. And the reason why this is so cool as well, not only does it gives us a safer way to surf the web, it pays us passive income in the form of cryptocurrency, which we're going to be discussing a little bit later in this video. So the Brave browser can be used with Windows, Linux, and Mac. Me personally, I use a Mac laptop. It's what I've always used. We all know what was wrong. And it reads, as a user, accesses to your web, activity and data is sold to the highest bidder. Internet giants grow rich while publishers go out of business and the entire system is rife with ad and fraud, which is so, so true. And this is what the Brave browser allows us to do. Take back control with Brave. And then these are the shields that I was telling you that are embedded into the Brave browser, which blocks, you know, data grabbing ads, trackers, cookies, all of that. And what that does, it allows our devices to run a lot faster, such as our mobile devices, our desktops, while using this Brave browser, because we don't have all these different ads and things like that tracking us. And just to give you an example, this is a new tab page on the Brave browser. So it's always gonna look like this when you open up a new tab. So you can see this is the time right now. It has saved me 43 minutes of estimated time, which means loading time for each page on a website. We have the HTTPS upgrades, which means any website that does not have the S after the HTTP, it upgrades it to make sure the website is secure and your information is not exposed because any website that does not have the S, your information can be exposed and stolen by hackers. And then you can see ads and trackers block. It has blocked 51,000 427 ads and that is only just for the month of April and this is only mid month so you can see how many different trackers and malware things are actually tracking us as we go to these different websites so this just kind of gives you proof in the pudding here this is how much we are being tracked on what we do every day on the internet as I mentioned earlier the brave browser pays us in passive income just for surfing the web. And if we click on one of the ads that pops up, it actually pays us more for actually showing attention to that ad. That's why it's called the basic attention token. So you can see I've earned 17 full tokens so far for the month of April, which comes out to $2.81. Now this is pretty incredible because just imagine when the adoption rate goes up for a uh, cryptocurrency, the price of this token is gonna skyrocket in price because the price of one of these right now is about 17 cents. Just imagine when it's looking at $10 or $100 for just one token. And as you can see, I just had a ad that just popped up. Now you can close it and you still will get paid, but if you click on this, it actually gives you a little bit more. So I'm gonna click on it just to kind of show you what the webs are and they are kind of customized to uh, what you look at on the website. So this is just kind of what the ad is. You can go into it and you can close back out of it and you'll be fine. Now you will see your things will start to accumulate over time. So now we're going to go over to the basic attention token website. You can see introducing blockchain based digital advertising. 
And this, I'm not gonna stop here and read all of this. You can pause the video at this point if you wanna read this, or you can come over to the website just to educate yourself a little bit more. And these bullet points here, you definitely may wanna pause it and read this just to give you a few facts on why we should really look into the Brave browser and keep what you do on the internet completely secure. So users are abused, which we definitely know that. We have publishers are hurting and advertisers are losing. And just to give you a quick key point that you may be able to resonate with on the publishers are hurting part, you can see Google and Facebook take 73% of all ad dollars and 99% of growth. That's where the Brave browser comes in at. They actually give part of that money back to consumers that are using the Brave browser without having our information exposed and stolen, which is completely incredible in my opinion. And then this just breaks down a little bit more for you. The Brave browser plus the bad token equals the new deal. You have stage one, which is the Brave browser, which we discussed. You have stage two, which is the basic attention token. The basic attention token can be used to obtain a variety of advertising and attention-based services on the bat platform as it is exchanged between publishers advertisers and users the tokens utility is derived or denominated by user attention attention is really just focused mental engagement on an advertisement in this case so that gives you a little bit more insight on exactly what the basic attention token is if you're kind of unfamiliar with the cryptocurrency space and now you have stage one plus two which is the brave browser protecting our data and the basic attention token that we are receiving in passive income and now if you want to earn a little bit more passive income and you're a content creator or a publisher like myself you're actually able to become a brave browser verified publisher and earn money on your own website your own publication youtube twitch and twitter completely incredible in my opinion you really should definitely check out the brave browser if you just want to have your information safer or if you want to earn some passive income while getting exposure to the cryptocurrency space now just to give you a quick insight on how many people are actually using the bat platform now this is the batgrove.com website this gives us a way to see how many people are actually using this platform and what section are they using this platform on so our total number here which was last updated april 14 2020 there are 533,000. 922 people now over half of those people are coming from youtube publishers like myself then you have twitter you have your personal websites that you can publish as well your reddit publishers twitch vimo github and then soundcloud and if you're not 100 percent sure what i mean by being able to be paid and basic attention token from people who may watch your content or visit your website if you go up to here to the blue button here you're going to see a blue check mark if I click on that, it allows me to tip the badgrowth.com website in real time to pay them, which is completely incredible because if you think about it from a YouTube standpoint, the only way a channel truly can really make money before they find other ways to monetize their channel is only by getting monetized through the YouTube program, which allows you to get paid every thousand views which means you're still getting a lot of that money taken away from you even when you receive your monthly paycheck from youtube now with the brave browser you don't even have to be monetized they're taking the power away from the middleman and putting it back into consumers and creators we are actually able to send that bat token right out of my wallet in real time to that publisher to that website if you feel they're giving vital and beneficial information so you can see if i hit the send tip button here it's going to pull up their banner backgrowth.com they have a little welcome uh, message here i can send them one ten or a hundred and you can see the value goes up as you send more and then you can also if you want you can set a monthly contribution uh, to publishers or to certain websites as well if you want to support them that much so we're going to hit the exit button here and we're going to scroll a little bit down and this is the historical data for break publishers you have the youtube channels Twitch channels, your Twitter handle, and then you have websites. So if you go to one of the bullet points, it shows you 
how many creators it was March 23rd, 2020, 281,000. We go up to the last update, which is April 12th, 298,000, almost 300,000 people. So you can see a lot of people are starting to come onto the Brave browser. Now I would highly recommend to just check it out and see what you think of it. If you are a publisher, a content creator, or you're building a brand, I would highly recommend to use the Brave browser. It allows you to find another way to monetize your brand, cutting out the middleman. So that is the Brave browser. Hopefully you all gained some value from this video and you liked it as well. If you did, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you want to earn some free passive income in the form of cryptocurrency, be sure to go ahead and click the link down in the description box. And I will also have it pinned in the comment section for you as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. So that way I can see you all back next video. I'm Mike the Investor. Remember to stay inspired, stay motivated, invest in yourself, and I will see you guys back next time.